We continue our live team coverage right now. CBS 2's Art Barron live outside Animo Inglewood Charter High School, where family members now confirm that two students were killed in the crash. Art? That's right, Sandra. As a matter of fact, today, friends paid tribute to Ismael Jimenez. He and a very close friend died in the fiery crash. Both had attended high school here in Inglewood. Both had known each other since the seventh grade. He wanted to focus on art. Evelyn Jimenez is proud of her younger brother's artwork. It sits in the living room as a tribute to an 18 year old who had been accepted to Humboldt State University. Throughout the day, I, I kept thinking about him a lot. And when I did send a text message, he never replied to me. But that's when I got the news that something had happened. Ismael and his close friend Denise Gomez, both from Animo Inglewood Charter High School, died in the fiery bus crash in Orland. Evelyn received confirmations from both her parents and Denise's cousin. Her cousin called me and she let me know that uh, her parents said that she had passed away. Thank you for letting me have the honor of coaching you for one season. Today, teammates and coaches of the Lennox Little League's Tomataros paid tribute to Ismael. He had played outfielder in 2012. And all your friends, your teammates, he lives on through you guys. Don't forget that. Him, Denise, all the people that were involved in this tragedy, they all live on through their friends and family. Ismael took this cell phone photo of himself two weeks ago. This morning, his sister framed it. She says her brother was a typical teen who loved to sleep in. She had to wake him up for the long ride north. Come on, you gotta go. Yeah, I, I spoke to him. Not a lot of words, but I said, I hope you have a safe trip and I'll see you soon. And that was it. Evelyn knows how much her brother touched the hearts of so many. It's evident by the 200 or so who paid tribute today with the release of these balloons. This is for him. All right, guys. Ismael's parents are still up in Orland tonight. And we also understand that they're trying to uh, organize a fundraiser, friends of Ismael's, trying to organize a fundraiser to help pay for his funeral expenses. We're live in Eagle, but our parents, CBS 2 News. All right, Art, thank you. Family members now confirm that local student Adrian Castro was killed in the crash. And there is a growing memorial for the 12th grader outside El Monte High School. Castro was a football player at the school and had already been accepted to Humboldt State.